Shalom Aleichem, just sitting here in the park, reviewing the parsha, parsha Balotcha, it's action-packed. I want to ask a very basic question, what's in a name? We know that in the Tanakh, names carry deep import. They tell you about the essence of a person, about who they really are and what they stand for. And in our parsha, there's a very short conversation between Moshe and his father-in-law Yitro. Moshe says, We're getting ready to travel to Eretz Canaan. Would you like to join us, Yitro? And Yitro says, no, Kim I'm sorry, I can't join you. I'm going home, I'm going back to Midian. Now what's interesting is that Yitro is not called Yitro in the story, he's called Chovav. What does the name Chovav mean? And Rashi tells us he's called Chovav, Shechibat Torah, because he loves the Torah. Rav Shimshon of Hirsch, though, says something a little bit different. He says, Chovav come, comes from the word Chovah. It comes from the word Chiba, it means love, as Rashi says. But there's another element, and that means Chovah, obligation. And he tells us that Yitro is the person who, out of love, felt obligated to do something. He loved, he came to love the Torah and the Jewish people. And as a result, he acted upon it. He took upon the Torah as a source of obligation. And at the end of the story, Rav Shimshon of Falarsh argues, it's not agreed upon by everybody, that Chovav, Yitro, does indeed join the Jewish people and his tribe, they move to Eretz Canaan, they live in the area of Yericho. But this is a very powerful idea. What does it mean to love something and then to act on it? Sometimes we feel strong emotions, strong passions, we feel compelled to do something, but it doesn't necessarily lead to action. It doesn't lead to a sense of obligation. We don't end up really, nothing materializes. It's just a feeling, a strong feeling, and it withers, it gets diminished, it gets forgotten, with all the other things that we have in life. But here you have the model of Chovav, a person who loved the Torah, who loved something, and then felt an obligation to do something about it. So he's Chovav. May all of us in our own lives, not only should we have moments of passion, of love, of yirah, of feeling compelled to do something, but we should act on these things, and it should lead us towards a feeling of obligation, and ultimately fulfillment, and, uh, and completion. And Vezrat uh, Hashem, we should walk in the path of Yitro. Yom Tov, Shabbat Shalom Mekulam.